On Saturday, the Grammy Awards were broadcast on TV. And of course, people who are good looking and sing pretty decided to give us their deep intellectual political opinion. The comments ranged from the edgy, I don't like Trump, to the daring, I really don't like Trump, inciting the cheers of the audience that has seen a 20% reduction from last year. There was a video of several artists reading from the book Fire and Fury, ending in Hillary Clinton reading an excerpt herself. What Fire and Fury has to do with the music industry, I'll never know, but at least Hillary Clinton got her shot in. In a statement to the press following the awards, she said, Sure, he's president and I'm not. And sure, he won using about half the money that my campaign spent. But ultimately, I think I came out on top, because I read a book in front of a bunch of people. Nikki Haley, US ambassador to the UN, commented on the Grammy's negative portrayal of her boss. And let me be clear that the fact that one of the most powerful people in the government, responsible for representing our country on the world stage, coming up with Security Council resolutions, and general cooperation and exchange of information with our allies, feels it's necessary to comment on the Grammys is in no way disheartening whatsoever. In Aussie news, Jackie Lambie was on an ABC comedy show when the host brought up the fact that she was polling better among men than women. This was her response to those figures. Because women don't like me, they're bitches. <laughs> All women are bitches. Okay, remember, they're more than 50% of the population. I'm trying yeah, to help they're you. growing, they're growing, mate, they're growing. I can't call all women bitches, my friend. <laughs> mate, we're all bitches, and I'm one of the biggest ones. I would know I'm the queen bee. The queen bee. This isn't really relevant news, but it is simply hilarious. For Front and Center and The Unshackled, I'm Emilio Garcia. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep it central.